So then the aim of stage two is to develop more posterior musculature to act as a buttress to prevent posterior humeral head translation. And this stage is really, I mean, it's a big focus in posterior instability, yeah. um, but it's really in preparation before we go into flexion. So that's what this stage is about. Um, and really, this is about increasing the load of our external rotation drills. So getting up to maybe a green TheraBand, especially in the guys, if they're yeah. bigger guys. Um, we might start um, you know, building up our shrugs to two kilos, even three kilos, changing the dosage then. We might start some seated rows at the gym maybe some bent over rows but you've just got to watch in patients that you've got to watch your bent over rows in patients with a predominance of posterior instability that they don't sublux them. posteriorly when they drop the weight yeah so I, I usually start with like almost little crunches they call them yeah yeah so posterior row yeah bent over row crunches but oh, i like that yeah. bent over row crunch so you're not letting go the whole yeah, way that's right and you're not going all the way back yes. either so just elbow to your yes. body yes i forgot to mention with the rows that we usually just do them to the side of the body because going past yep. can give you that anterior tilt yep. um, and then we also do a side lie external rotation so we do some side lie offer support mm -hmm. um, so this is really nice for getting some infraspinatus and a bit of supra and teres bulk as well um, but we want to make sure that you know you do it offer support um, uh, you know that they're not dropping into internal rotation and uh, you know I think there's a video of that we'll, we'll look at soon but also in stage two we start to do um, some scapula so we start to do an ex sorry, extension row in 45 degrees of elevation to start getting scapula control in a higher range so as you can see here setting into some lovely upward rotation and then rowing to the side of the body at a 45 degree angle from the side the elbow's got to stay at 90 you want posterior muscles working and not a bicep action yeah and again still using that scapula you know resistance band again motor control working to endurance and then this is a video of the side lie that I was talking about before um, again pillow under the arm so they don't drop into too much adduction which can downwardly rotate the scapula um, scapular resistance band and you see in the video our patient doing the external rotation off the support of their their other hand and just you know just halfway through range and that gets you a nice nice burn so again got to make sure that they can do that with control and don't have any symptoms so these are the goals from roughly for stage two, but getting our shrugs up to about three kilos, our extension row at 45 to a green band, that's our scapular component, side lie half one to 1.5 to even up to two kilos. And that's probably more looking in the strength dosages, external internal rotation for green bands. And depending on you know, how big the patient is and what they can control, it, it might be looking motor control or, or endurance here. Okay, then we're looking at stage three, which is getting into flexion or sagittal plane control. So, you know, that, that's the aim of this stage. And, and flexion is really important to introduce as it's, it's very functional. It's very functional. We spend most of our time in flexion. Uh, at, and flexion also has a high degree of serratus anterior activation on mm -hmm. EMG. Is that right, Tanya? That's You're right. the EMG yeah. guru. Um, so it's really important for that upward rotation of the, of the scapula. Now, the scapular phase of this stage might involve getting your upward rotation shrug drills around into the scapular plane and then the sagittal plane. But I, I don't do that that often. I find that once they've got it in the coronal yeah. plane, you're pretty good. But if you need to, that's what you can do. And then the arc of motion is, you know, flexion with some TheraBand often behind them. Okay, sort of like a, a punching motion. Yeah. And again, setting the scapula short arc motion to begin with. Now, in patients with a predominance of posterior instability, you've got to be careful in this motion. And, and with those patients, we often have to start them in the scapula, scaption, scaption 
plane. So, you know, working from light to medium to heavy, drop the colour band, bring them more around into the sagittal plane. If you're having problems, means you probably need more posterior control and you need to go back to your ER and your extension a little a little bit more. Yeah. And okay. you're continuing to do those as well. Yeah, that's exactly. And build those while you're introducing the, the next stage. And that's the thing, those earlier stages might be starting to look like that strengthening. So your bent over row might have been getting going well and you might be looking at a heavier weight endurance yep. to strength. And reduce your repetitions. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, working up to, you know, kind of, you know, a, a, a sort of a 90 degree flexion motion here. Okay, so look, we're looking at getting this band colour up to a green, one to set of 20 repetitions, you know, to two sets of to 15.